So this is a little out of character for me because I normally work on cars, but uh, my rental garage here, or the space I rent, I guess, the tenant, or sorry, landlord has a snowblower down here. This is from the mid 90s. <clears throat> it's a uh, Craftsman, it's a five horsepower Tecumseh. I was gonna try to get this started just to plow a little bit of a path um, so I could get cars in and out during the winter a little more easily. Uh, I've actually been doing a little bit of cleaning on this carburetor, um, but it seems like I'm having issues with uh, the primary jet or a needle issue because no fuel is actually getting to the um, throat of the carburetor. And there, there's a primary jet that sucks uh, fuel up. A little brass thing in the middle there. Uh, that sucks it up from the bowl, which is down here. Uh, the bowl has metered fuel flow coming in here, and there's actually a little float inside that controls a part called the needle, which as the bowl fills up with fuel, shuts off the fuel flow to fill it, if that makes sense. So that was also stuck on this carburetor. It wasn't getting any fuel before. Uh, I fixed that, I took out the uh, the jet, I cleaned it with a little bit of uh, wire brush needle, but it still isn't working. So, last ditch effort, since this uh, blower really isn't mine anyway, I bought this replacement uh, China car before it, this was like $10 shipped. It says it fits Tecumseh 4 and 5 horse engines, it looks pretty similar, um, there's definitely a few little differences. Uh, there's no uh, easy drain to get all the fuel out of the bowl, which is a little unfortunate, um, but it's still pretty easy to uh, empty out all the fuel in the uh, in the fall when you're putting stuff away, or I guess in the spring when you stop using your snowblower. So first step on this blower, there's normally two Phillips screws right here. Mine only has the one, and then loosen this up here just enough so you can pull it off. After that, you're going to have to deal with this little uh, choke knob that just pushes right off and that should give you just enough room to wiggle this off and right there you can see the carburetor which looks i'll be honest almost identical so i think we did okay on this there's actually more metal parts on the chinese carburetor than there are on the original um so what i'm gonna have to do now is i'll probably take off these two Phillips screws that hold this choke uh, lever. I'll transfer that over to our new carburetor, making sure that the alignment is okay. Um, next up will be this governor linkage. I'll figure out exactly how that's in there and I'll pull that off. Uh, next up will just be these two mounting nuts and then also the fuel line. Before you take off the fuel line, do make sure that the fuel is in the off position, which on my blower is horizontal. I'm going to manually drain the bowl by pushing up on this right here. Um, I just have a little breakfast container here that I'm going to drain it into. Um, so once the carburetor's drained of fuel, you can pull the fuel line off, get that bracket off. These should just pull straight out with the pliers. These little linkages here should be really, really straightforward to swap this carburetor. So there we have the old carb and the new carb. There's the manual bleeder uh, that lets you drain all the fuel out of the bowl, which I really like. You could almost certainly transfer the bowl over to your china carb, but I'm not going to do that. Um, here's the back side. The old gasket that I took off actually looks really, really good still. Um, but since the carb came with a new one, I'm going to throw a new one on there. Um, these are not captured hardware somehow. So be a little careful when you're threading these back on, but uh, yeah, the next step is going to be um, put this gasket on there, uh, seat the carb on there, tighten down those two little nuts, then we'll get the uh, brackets and linkages back on it. So there's the shiny new carb, linkages all reattached, uh, I gotta put the choke lever back on it now. Um, and then reconnect the fuel line. Pretty much should be ready to prime it at that point and uh, see if she'll fire up. Well, there we are, fully reassembled. Well, that was easy. Barely took one little crank and fired right up. <laughs>